Hello everyone, welcome to another Funko Pop unboxing video. Today I'll be unboxing a pretty big one. Uh, this is the Clock Tower from Back to the Future. Um, the first movie, specifically. Um, this is really cool. This is part of the new wave of Back to the Future Pops, celebrating the 35th anniversary of the movie, of course. Um, the whole line of uh, regular ones here. And this awesome big one. This uh, really cool uh, town uh, number 15. I only have one other town. It's the, uh, uh, firehouse from Ghostbusters, which I think is the equivalent, you know, to this basically of, in terms of like being iconic for that movie. Um, yeah, this is amazing. Um, if I, <laughs> if I ever imagined, um, you know, having something from Back to the Future, like made in pop form, this was it. I mean, uh, they did do the DeLorean many years ago. I want them to make a new one, by the way, because that old one is like hard to get now. Um, but this is fantastic. I love this thing. Um, I'm so glad they made this. Um, it's beautiful. And uh, yes, uh, I'm not sure if this is hard to find or anything. I got it from um, hottopic.com. And yeah, let's get it opened up. It does come with Doc Brown, of course, because, you know, we got plenty of Martys on the line. We also got one Biff. Um, we got a couple Docs. But I think it's uh, more fitting to have Doc because he was hanging from the top, you know, from the clock. You know, he was wearing this. This is 1955 Doc Brown. Um, yeah, this is fantastic. So let's get it out of the box and take a look at it. Um, we do get the Easter egg on top here with the uh, dates from all three films right there. 1955, 2015, and 1885. All right. And I think I mentioned this in the other... Um, I did the one of Marty checking his watch, the the Walmart one. Well, it was a Comic-Con one, but it was shared with Walmart. Um, I asked the question, is there really going to be a Doc Brown with Einstein supposedly coming out? I need to know about that because I want it. Um, it's basically him wearing his, you know, his lab coat or whatever, his lab, you know, when he gets shot at Twin Pines Mall, that uniform he's wearing or whatever. Um, I'm not sure what you call it. His, uh, radiation suit. I don't know. Um, not the radiation suit. Or is it? I don't know, I'm totally blanking. Um, but there was like a leaked image of that with uh, Einstein. It's it's like a prototype image or something. I, I want that pop if that's really happening. Um, anyways, here we got 1955 Doc Brown right there. He's got a little cut on his head. From when he uh, fell, hit his head on the sink and thought of the flux capacitor, which is what makes time travel possible. All right, and for the meat and potatoes, let's get the clock tower. Let's move this out of the way. And for you guys who don't know, um, this was filmed at the Universal Backlot, at least the Hill Valley, you know, main square portion. Um, so this clock tower is actually still there to this day. It just looks different, I think. Um, if anybody knows why, I think there was a fire at the Backlot that destroyed some of the buildings or something. And part of the clock tower got destroyed, so they had to, like, remodel it when they rebuilt it. I don't know what the case is, if anybody knows. Um, or the courthouse, whatever you want to call it, clock tower. So, like, the front of it looks slightly different, like, right up in here, like, in the front area here. It looks different if you look at pi pictures of it today. Um, but, yeah, this is still amazing. And I love the fact that it was filmed at the back lot. You can literally, like, they do tours and stuff from what I know. I don't live in California, so I have no clue. But uh, I, from what I know, they do tours, and they drive around, and you could see it. And, you know, it's at the actual Universal theme park. Um, so... This is amazing. There is no, like, wire, obviously, hanging where Doc Brown slid from. The, uh, sorry, not a wire, the plug. He has to plug it back in, and, you know, he dangles on, and he's flying. Um, but we do get the actual bolt electricity, which, uh, produces 1.21 gigawatts of electricity. Um, that is really cool. Um, this is awesome. I mean, it's, it's perfect. I mean, <laughs> this is amazing. It says Department of Social Services. And the clock is stuck at... I actually never knew what time it was stuck at. Let me look. It's actually at 10.05, um, it looks like. So it, I think that's 10.05. But uh, yeah, just all the detail on this thing. This is gorgeous. I would definitely display this thing if I didn't keep all my pops in the box, which I do because I don't have room to display them. Um, I have to keep them all in their boxes. Um, but if I had the room for it, I would definitely display this. Uh, yeah, I love this. Um, I'm kind of tempted to even, like, stick it in my backdrop somehow, but, uh, I'm for, now I'm just doing NECA figures back here. Um, this is beautiful. <laughs> but, uh, anyways, let me know what you guys think of this, and that's it. That is the, uh, Back to the Future 
clock tower with 1955 dark brown um the only other one i plan on getting maybe i'll get biff i haven't seen him in person yet but if i see biff i'll probably get him just because i don't have a biff obviously um and i do want to get doc brown with einstein if that you know is a real thing uh and i think that's it i think that's all they're doing they have marty with the hoverboard i think with a t-shirt or something um at walmart or something i i don't know if i see it in person I, i'll probably get it but you know, uh, it just depends. But anyways, thanks for watching and have a good one. Bye-bye.